special buoys. In addition to lateral buoys, there are also special buoys on the water. If you come across one while navigating, it's important to know what its meaning is. Let's start with the cautionary buoy. It's yellow and informs you of the presence of dangers, such as firing ranges, underwater pipelines, regatta areas, seaplane bases, or areas where no safe through channel exists. If it has a light, it is yellow. The anchorage buoy resembles the cautionary buoy, but is distinguished by its black anchor. It is used to mark the outer limits of designated anchorage areas. This is the mooring buoy. It is white and orange, with the orange covering the top third of the buoy. It is used to moor or secure a boat. In the United States, the mooring buoy is white with a blue horizontal bar. The information buoy is white with an orange square between two horizontal stripes of the same color. It is used to convey specific information on the water, such as the location of a nearby marina or boat launch. The hazard buoy is white, with an orange diamond between two horizontal stripes of the same color. It is used to mark obstacles such as dangerous rocks or shoals in the area where you are navigating. The control buoy is white, with an orange circle between two horizontal stripes of the same color. It marks an area where boating restrictions have been established. It may display maximum speed limits within a zone or indicate engine power limits. The keep out buoy is white, with a cross inside an orange diamond between two horizontal bands of the same color. It marks an area where navigation is not permitted, such as a swimming area where motorboats are prohibited, or an area where navigation is forbidden due to the presence of a bridge. When diving is taking place, the area must be marked by a diving buoy. This is a white buoy, with a red flag, with a white diagonal stripe. Divers must stay close to this buoy. If there is a dive boat, it must show the alpha flag, which is blue and white. The flag means, I have a diver in the water, keep well clear and at low speed. While navigating, if you see these flags, you must keep well clear of the boat and the diving site. The perimeter of a swimming area must be marked by swimming buoys. These are white. You must keep well clear of these zones. The isolated danger buoy is black with a red horizontal stripe. It indicates that an isolated hazard, such as a reef or wreck, lies within a safe body of water. If it has a light, it is red. The fairway buoy has white and red vertical stripes. It indicates a safe area of water and marks the entrance to or the middle of a channel. If it has a light, it is white. Finally, cardinal buoys indicate the location of danger by referring to the four cardinal points north, south, east, west. They have black and yellow stripes. For the north cardinal buoy, it is black on the top and yellow at the bottom. The opposite is true for the south cardinal buoy, with black at the bottom and yellow at the top. The cardinal east buoy is black with a yellow horizontal stripe, while the cardinal west buoy is yellow with a black horizontal stripe. At night, the light on the cardinal buoy is white and flashes several times a minute, at different intervals depending on the type of cardinal buoy. The cardinal buoys are positioned on the water in such a way that the safe waters are on the side named by the buoy. Thus, the south cardinal buoy indicates that navigable waters lie to the south of the buoy and that danger lies to the north, as here, where shoals lie to the north of the south cardinal buoy.